Engines roar. Clouds split wide. A lone hurricane slices morning sky, steady silent, forgotten by many, but never forgotten by history's judgment. In 1940, Britain stood alone. Sirens wailed across London bombers came in waves, and a humble workhorse fighter rolled from hangars to meet them. German bombers crossed the channel. Britain demanded speed fire resolve. A fighter built of fabric and steel, not perfect, but ready for impossible duty. The 1930s left RAF with biplanes. Flimsy, slow outdated. Yet Hawker's Sidney Cam dreamed of a modern monoplane, a machine that could truly fight. 1933, Hitler rearmed. 1935, Messerschmitt soared. Britain rushed desperate, a fighter was needed quickly. Something that could share the same contested sky. From fragile blueprints, a rugged shape emerged. The hurricane angular, simple, unfashionable perhaps, but deadly enough to matter when war finally came. November 6, 1935. The hurricane flew. RAF placed orders quickly. By 1940, over 3,000 stood ready Britain's hidden air army awaiting battle. Factories roared night and day. Women loaded guns, rivets hammered steel. The hurricane was never elegant, but it was built in overwhelming numbers. From skeleton frame to living machine, wings stretched wide, guns fixed tight. Merlin engine roared alive, a beast of burden prepared for battle. One pilot, one seat, one canopy. No luxury, just dials one trigger of view forward. Survival depended on simplicity, clarity, and raw courage. Step inside, cramped cockpit metal sink, hands gripping leather stick. View ahead was clear behind lay darkness blind and deadly to any pilot. Sunlight glared across canopy glass. A single silhouette inside, faceless, nameless, carrying the fragile hope of Britain's survival. MiG A1 carried eight Brownings. MiG Two added cannons. Sea hurricanes hurled from carriers. Tropicals coughed dust while fighting in scorching desert skies. Hold On fast. stormy decks, sea hurricanes braved salt winds, catching wires diving into waves claws of the Navy Secure launched into land. fire. In desert heat, dust filters strained. Hurricanes painted sand colors, strafed columns, fought heat sand, and relentless steel enemies across dunes. Battle of Britain. Squadrons scrambled fast. Merlin engines howled across fields. Hurricanes lifted heavy wings, not graceful, but unstoppable. Into bomber streams, they charged slicing paths through Heinkel's Dornier Yunkers. Above them circled Messerschmitts, waiting like patient wolves. In North Africa, hurricanes painted desert tan, roared low strafing convoys, Dust clouds swallowed ground troops under the thunder of Merlin engines. Gun cameras caught truth tracer bursts flashed. Sparks flew. Black crosses vanished in sudden flame. No myth, only death recorded in shaky frames. Dive, fire, climb, hurricanes rhythm. Short bursts, decisive kills. Never elegant, always brutal, always the workers strike against German wings. 60% of German losses in 1940 claimed by hurricanes. Spitfire earned glory in stories hurricane carried the crushing weight of victory. Beneath skin, Merlin. Two engine roared over 1,000 horsepower. Propeller clawed sky, turning fuel fire and steel into survival. Top speed, 520 kilometers per hour. Ceiling nearly 11,000 meters range, 740, slower than BF-109, yet perfect to cut bombers down. Watch it lift heavy, noisy, reliable. Not sleek, not fast. But Britain needed survivors' machines that fought today and returned tomorrow. Strength rugged frame, easily patched overnight. Weakness slower turns, weaker climbs. Hurricane was no racer, it was Britain's stubborn worker. Strong hands mended torn wings through night. 
Weak hearts could never survive combat inside them. Steel-patched courage remained unbreakable. Against Messerschmitt's hurricanes became prey. Against lumbering bombers, they became executioners. Context defined them killers or casualties. Ignition switches flipped. Merlin coughed alive. Oil pressure steady roar rising. The ritual heartbeat before Britain's fate lifted into skies. Eight guns ready. One squeeze thunder across wings. Tracers thin sparks real death delivered in fractions of seconds. On testing fields, gunners fired wings rattled. Echoes thundered across countryside. War's shadow pressed close even in peaceful farmlands. Above Kent, contrails spiraled duels. Hurricanes plunged. Messerschmitts clawed upward. Sky ripped apart by speed fire and human will. Gun cameras, stuttered frames of wreckage, tumbling flames, licking fabric wings, folding. Death preserved in mechanical truth. From afar, a bomber blossomed fire fragments rained into channel. Silent witnesses watched steel fall and waves swallow crews. 1941 came. Spitfires rose sleeker faster, stealing the fight. Hurricanes stepped back quietly into supportive shadows. Yet still it served. In deserts in Russia in distant skies, forgotten in glory, remembered in duty. Today, over 60 hurricanes survive. Some still fly Merlin engines roaring across air shows, ghosts alive, echoing defiance. Crowds looked up. Children stared wide, hearing thunder. Forgotten steel, reborn myth, rebuilt from smoke and memory. Over Dover Cliffs, hurricane arced high. Wings flashed bright a salute across time, whispering stories of 1940 into modern skies. Without the hurricane, Britain might not have survived 1940. Truth rests not in glamour, but in grit resilient survival. Britain's workhorse fades into dusk, remembered by history, reclaimed by sky. Never glorious, always essential, the fighter that carried a nation.